What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecola Espresso and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about Advanced Warfare, which this week, when won't we be? I hope you guys have all been enjoying the content we've been seeing coming out of E3 and hopefully here up on my channel as well. Today we're going to be taking a look at an interview Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield did with Polygon. They talked about the game in general, some of the stuff we've already seen and heard about, like the gameplay and mechanics, but they did mention some new stuff to us. So without further ado, let's get right into what that was. The first thing we're going to be talking about today is the return of character cut. Customization. There seemed to be a stress on that, but they really couldn't speak all that much on it because of the NDAs and stuff in place, as well as PR reps from Activision and Sledgehammer breathing down the necks of Condry and Schofield. So did we get anything blatant or anything tremendously informing? Not really, but what they did confirm was this. There will be a main character who's female, and if Advanced Warfare's IMDB is any indication, her name will be Alana, voiced by Angela Gotts. She's apparently going to be a very large character in the game. How so is still unknown, whether a PMC leader showing the status of women in war or a love interest to our character to draw the player in is yet to be determined and something only time will tell but regardless at the same time as mentioning her character Schofield and Condry confirm that female characters will be a part of multiplayer player customization further continuing the trend that goes started in terms of overall player customization there is no further comments but that right there is a key distinguishing factor in customization that can later hint at previous innovations being reinstated or even newer additions to the game now moving on to the next thing that we're given some food for thought for is in regards to the exo suits we know that sledgehammer is tremendously focusing on this as a key portion of the game that's been an obvious fact since day one of info that's been confirmed how far they've wanted to take it that's a different story though well in the interview today it's now clear the role that will be played in the game in single player at least after each level of campaign you'll get a screen like an after action report depending on how well you do will dictate how many points you'll get in order to spend on upgrades to your suit things like speed mobility agility and reload were all things teased that can be upgraded. Showfield then proceeded to drop the info that you may have to play it more than once to unlock everything in the campaign. So this will certainly be something different, but I'm thinking different in a good way. This will be the first time that a player can really shape a playstyle in campaign, whereas previously playstyle was only thought of in multiplayer. A little integration in a single player is a cool idea. My next thoughts though is if a single player is so focused heavily around exo suits, maybe multiplayer will have just as large attention to it as single player did. That being said, how could that work out? I have a few thoughts, but let's start on ones that were perhaps the most plausible. My first thought is that our perk system will have a category 4 or be completely heavily focused on the exo. Things like speed, mobility, agility, and reload like we were already teased, those would all be very dependent on our suits, and I feel like that would be a very practical option for multiplayer customization. Another option which I think is viable but not so convinced it will happen is the suit upgrades when prestiging. Similar to the prestige icons, our suits would act as those, for example, like a different colored suit to distinguish a certain prestige. Now granted, I doubt it would be something as lowly as a color change, but that's just the basic idea. Now the last one that I have is that the prestiging will also be a huge factor in the suit, similar to the Black Ops 2 prestige tokens. Each time you prestige, it would allow you to upgrade something for your suit, one per prestige, but it would be permanent. Like for example, after you prestige, you could upgrade your suit to enable double jumps. So in theory, your first prestige would only allow normal to slightly enhance jumping, but after you prestige, you can use a prestige permanent unlock to upgrade your suit to allow for double jumps. That's just a thought, but I believe it's something that we could possibly see in theory or ideas translate over into multiplayer. So that's all for today's video, guys. I just wanted to bring you guys a quick little update on some information that we got regarding Advanced Warfare here at this interview. I'll leave the interview down in the description below if you want to check it out in its entirety. It's a great interview. I highly suggest that you watch it, but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Are you guys excited for this? And if so, which feature in particular are you excited for? If you did like the video, please like ring down below any shares of your facebook twitter and or myspace if you would you like that or it's greatly appreciated if you're new here be sure to subscribe for the best of call of duty advanced warfare news and information any news and information you guys know exactly where to find it right here up on my channel my name is Vinny Cola espresso as always if you guys are having a great day i shall see you guys tomorrow take care and peace Rise, <laughs>